Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is Dr. Respect, and welcome back to another episode of Destiny 2 March Madness. Geek, where did you find shades of that color? I'll tell you, at the beach, the only place that you can get sunglasses that look like this. I would wear them the whole time, but even just setting up right here, I can barely see out of these things. I actually don't know how Doc does it. They gotta be some kind of special order frames. So welcome back, welcome back. The series continues. I know, it's exciting. You're loving it, I'm loving it. What an absolute blast. Destiny 2 content is dead? What? Who said that? Not me. We're rolling. Daily videos. The grind is real and the subscribers are rolling in. The deep little, little Adele there, no? Yeah, you can cut after making fun of me for the Adele joke there, Sean. <laughs> you know, Sean, I got a comment. Let me go, let me find it real quick. I got a comment held for review. I was like, huh, that's interesting. I wonder why. Great content as usual, Geek from Coach L who said, time for a new editor that doesn't trash you in every video though. You hear that? The people want change. <laughs> I can't let him go though. I mean, what would we do without Sean? There wouldn't even be a channel. So today's episode, Ostringer versus Outbreak Perfected. Now Outbreak Perfected won Just Do It June. Number one, if you missed that series, we picked exotics based on community uh, excitement and community hype around the weapons. Outbreak got like 31 kills by itself in a single match. Not assists, not total score, 31 kills. It was like a 45 bomb game, it was ridiculous. So Outbreak comes in as the number one seed and then this guy right here, the Ostringer, one of, if not my favorite hand cannons in the game. Why is that? Look at that stability. As a console main who apparently is trash with hand cannons. I see the comments all the time. Geek just looks like he's nervous using Ace of Spades. Well, you know, if Geek actually practiced with the spare rations, I feel like you. No, no, no. The weapon is not the problem. Geekermon is the problem. <laughs> You guys, I like this hand cannon, okay? I really, as a controller player, value ease of use in weapons. I don't want free kills, but I think a lot of players lean more towards weapons that have an easier use rate. Now, I will say a spare rations, if you can use it on controller and use it well, I know a couple players, you know who you are. It's exactly right. Shouts out to Fody, my man. If you know how to use the spare rations properly, even without stability, and you've got the recoil down, and you do, and you do a great job with it, it's incredible. The skill gap, the skill ceiling is so high. If you're not, you just look ridiculous spraying shots, overcorrecting. It's just a nightmare. And especially when I try to make videos on it. Oh my goodness, don't even get me started, dude. Mike, pull the Duke out of the vault. That'll be, just pull the Duke out. That'll be fun. But I like the Ostringer, okay? It's a fun weapon. We've got Rangefinder, Outlaw, Steady Rounds, Hammer Forge. The gun is a beast. So we're going to jump in. We'll see who's going first. Outbreak, starting out strong. All right, with that, let's jump right into the gameplay. Oh man, I was not even ready. All right, let's do it. I put on this ornament and I still don't know how I feel about it. I like, it feels open and it feels like you can see really far with it, but I don't know, sometimes I feel like the recoil on it's a little bit different. I don't know, the, the weapon hits a little different sometimes. Come on, sir. There's one to the left. Oh, he tried to get up those stairs. Nice try, let's go. I'm not playing around. Outbreak, one just do it June and it would not surprise me to see just do it August. Top tier dialogue, just top tier geek. All right, they're going mid bridge. Watch them right here. Yep. Dude, it doesn't matter the range. You don't lose fights with Outbreak. When this thing starts hitting people, I mean, the gun hits different. <laughs> ah, you love to see it, let's go. It also just tracks the head so well. Was that a fusion rifle? Thanks for watching. Beast! Come on now, I'm in the mood to just tear it up right now. Hit me with that bow, let's go. They're on zone B team. Push them, behind the wall, huh? There we go. A Yoten! Dude, it's only 14 to 12 and we already have like 10 kills. Will Outbreak win again? Somebody commented and they said, I'm so shocked to see how well Scout Rifles have been performing. I don't know what's happening with this tournament, but I don't think Scout Rifles have lost yet to anything except for other Scout Rifles. How bizarre is that? That's the strangest thing to me. I don't, Scout Rifles are not meta. They're not the best weapons, but when it comes to just one single gun trying to put out a large number of kills, I feel like the, uh, the Scouts have been just dominant. There's a shotgun boy out here. We're yet, good sir. Rest in peace to the old shotgun boy, am I right? <laughs> am I right or am I right? That man probably is gonna pull out his primary after how sad that went. There we go, second one back there or to my left. World's press grenade! Oh no, oh rip. That one's not going in the G1 montage. <laughs> what, did I fall through a pipe? What? Do I pop the tether here? I feel like the end, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, my tether can't reach that man. We're fine. Look at every range, every range, the outbreak says, I'm taking this win. I'm sorry. 
Oh, just so clean, man. Just so clean. Where? I thought I saw red on the radar. Oh, they're way back. Way back. Yep. Got him. This is a fast match. That's the only thing that's really going to help Ostringer is this is a... Uh, we're already at over 100 points. I feel like at this pace, there might be some hope for the Ostringer because this gun is just tearing it up. I almost had my tether again, actually. This could be clutch plays right here. Of course. Of course you are. They're always behind. They're always behind the bubble just charging up a Jotun. Dan. All right. The game is almost over. We need like one more kill right here on the right. No. That is how you escape Jotun, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. In case you were wondering, the way to escape Jotun, 100%, you just jump. Jotun, when you jump, becomes a very imperfect weapon, for sure. All right, how did we do? 26 with a 2.1, not bad. The kills really slowed down near the end there. I felt like it started really strong, and then we had a lot of stretches where it was just not, there wasn't a lot of action. I ran around the map a lot looking for people. They had a guy quit out, which is unfortunate, and they had somebody who looks like they didn't have very many deaths, so they probably weren't in the game very long. All right, that gives, uh, that gives a little bit of hope, a little bit of hope for the Ostringer. It's gonna be tough though. I'll calculate the official score and then we'll jump into game number two. We got Midtown, seriously? For the Ostringer, my favorite hand cannon and you gave us Midtown, Bungie, come on now. All right, so thankfully for us, we had 18 kills, six assists last game. That puts us at 21 points. That's fairly doable. I'm not gonna say easy, uh, especially on this map, but I will say fairly doable. Let's see if we can nail down the long range Ostringer plays. This gun, I absolutely love this gun. The one problem I have with it, and you'll probably notice a lot of these uh, tier of hand cannons, I think it's a 140. It's a 140 hand cannon, is a lot of times 140s will leave the enemies at a, uh, a small sliver of health. That's the one frustrating piece, and it happens all too often. Which side do you think they're on? Why are these guys playing so cheeky? What am I talking about? I was being cheeky earlier. I, I mean, you know, I can't say much. I'm invisible crouched in a corner and I'm like, why are these guys playing so defensive? Why am I the way that I am? Am I right? That's the sliver. I just talked about it. There it is. Sir, please come back. If you, I swear, if you beat me with that gnawing hunger, that is the sliver that I talked about. This map really just displays it too. It's not that this is a bad map by any means. I really enjoy Midtown, but just for using only a hand cannon, you're gonna probably have a bad time sometimes. This team, uh, I wonder if this is a team that we're playing. No, doesn't, I can't, it's hard to tell from the clan tags. It doesn't seem that way. Oh, got him, the crispy three tap. I thought that was gonna leave. If that left him at a sliver, I was about to be heartbroken. Let's go, baby. Ostringer's here to win. What, what are you spawning back here? I'm back here. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. That recoil, I almost missed an easy, easy kill. This is out of my range. I'm gonna try though. I got him! Let's go! I got him. Yep. Come on now, Ostringer! All right, they're taking zone B from me. We gotta buckle down. We gotta buckle down. Ooh, back into my grenade. Gotcha! That doesn't really help me for the challenge I'm doing with this weapon. Huh, that was kind of weird. He took like delayed damage. That was strange. Where yet? No, I gotta flank around. There's, I mean, I'm outranged. There's no way. Right here. There we go. Second guy's back behind there somewhere. Yep, sir. Baby, come on now. Ostringer is putting in work right now. Ostringer wants to win. There we go. More behind us. Hard to tell where this guy. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I mean, I'm re I really like, it took an entire clip, an entire clip. Okay, okay, ready, ready. Oh, baby. Yeah, no, nah, you take that nine hunger somewhere else. Wow, there's a lot, just a lot out there. Huh, do I peek it? I'm trying, I'm trying. Yep. Yep. I mean, they were all assist before you celebrate anything. It wasn't anything crazy. I feel like despite the fact that our team is getting just buried, we're considering we're on Midtown and using a single hand cannon, I feel like this is going very well. Wow, we are gonna lose this game just barely. Am I on first place though? First place on the losing team. Will it be enough for the Ostringer upset? I do feel like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this game lasted much, much longer than the first match we had. The first match just felt like it blew by really quick. 28, wow, it's gonna be really close. What do we have? 
26 with the outbreak. It's gonna be very close. All right, I will calculate it. We'll see what happens. All right, so I know we had 18 kills and what six assists puts us at 21 points for the outbreak. It looks like we had 19 kills and seven assists with the Ostringer. So the Ostringer is gonna be taken home the dub by one kill and one assist. We had 15 headshot kills with the Ostringer, even on Midtown. Very, very nice. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Really, really appreciate it. The channel has been doing so well and it's all thanks to you guys. Hoping to live stream some more in the future. I don't know if it'll be here on Twitch. I'm still trying to figure all that stuff out, but I will get the shelves up, okay? I promise. Thank you guys and I will catch you in tomorrow's episode. Thanks for watching. Peace.